You've likely seen flare before in photos and videos, but do you know what it is and what causes it? We define flare or stray light as an unwanted artifact caused by a very bright light source like the sun. It may appear in various forms in the image as colored spots, ghosting, luminous halos, haze, or a veiling glare that reduces the contrast and color saturation in the picture. There are a variety of factors that can contribute to flare. This includes the misalignment of the lenses, the quality of the anti-reflection coat, additional filters like the infrared filter, or even scratches and dust on the lens itself. Although these factors are significant, it is important to know how flare is typically caused. Let's take an outdoor scene like this example here, taken with a smartphone camera. We can see the inner layout of a typical smartphone camera made up of a series of lens elements with an infrared filter and the image sensor. We have the tree within the field of view of the camera, and the sun is illuminating the tree and camera. The optimal path for the light beam is seen here in yellow, which reaches the sensor to create the actual image. However, the stray light beam path in red here reflects internally on lens elements before reaching the sensor, leading to unwanted flare artifacts. If we want to minimize these flare artifacts, we first need to be able to measure them. But how can we do that? Here at Analyzer, we've actually developed a very precise way to measure and simulate flare in our labs using a piece of equipment called the flare bench. The purpose of the flare bench is to propose a compact, accurate, user-friendly setup that simulates real-life use cases of flare. Our setup has been designed so that it is easy to use and able to reproduce any flare artifacts in camera lenses from smartphones to automated cameras in a completely dark environment. It is also fully compliant with the IEEE P2020 standard. The light source is collimated at infinity to simulate the sun. The flare bench includes a motorized arm that is fully automated remotely using specially designed software. For the analysis, we designed a special metric to quantify the amount of flare present in the images. We can see an example from the results of the analysis that show the distribution of the flare for different positions of the light source. To learn more about FlareBench and our testing solutions, visit our corporate site at corp.dxomark.com.